Killy Kids presents Spelling Bee. It's a beautiful day. Children from all over Kenya have come to compete for the title of top speller. Nearly 100 contestants with big dreams in hand and the support of their families. They are here to compete for the top prize. I'll, I'll win this competition. Here to compete with others and do it. And to improve my spelling skills. To improve my skills in spelling. Here to compete for the National Spelling Championship. But there will only be one winner. Who will it be? Akili Kids presents Spelling Bee. Special thanks to Blue Band. And now for your hosts. From Akili Kids, Miss Universe Kenya 2018, Wavaya Karaoke. Hello everyone, I'm super stoked to be here at the Kenya National Spelling Bee Championships. Also from Akili Kids, musician and artist, Chris Yobera. Hey, what's good everybody? I'm also excited to be here and to be part of the Kenyan National Spelling Bee. And roving reporter from Akili Kids, Sitara Soleil! Hi, I'm Sitara. It's so great to be here. I'll be interviewing contestants and their families. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is out. It's up. Be beautiful day. So yeah, I, <laughs> I love it. Almost a hundred kids in line, and I was just filled with all. I didn't know there's this many people who would be so excited about a spelling bee. So we have plenty of activities here at the event. Uh, some of them include arts and crafts. I love coloring. Uh, I think from when I was a kid, I used to color all the time, and then I was so into coloring inside the line. Mm -hmm. So. I was just excited to be a child again, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I like the fact that it's outdoors and there's an opportunity to test and the fact that they get to wear the masks and social distance. I think we're gonna have a really good show. Among the contestants, there are some who... This is not their first spelling, so they, they've come back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think you, you are allowed to participate more than once. Awesome. Then I also got the chance to see puppets. And I can't remember the last time I saw a puppet show. Yeah. But I was really excited, even though I'm an adult. So I hear that the last championship was in 2019. Now, unfortunately, it couldn't happen last year because of the whole COVID situation. Although they did get really creative and the bees moved over to Zoom. And I'm really curious to know how that worked out. Since uh, COVID began, we've been looking for ways to interact with the kids. And uh, last year was, uh, was, I can't say it was bad for us because we didn't have this interaction because Spelling Bee is all about interaction with kids. Yeah. So we had online classes, we had online activities for them. And so when uh, the schools reopened, we thought, what can we do? Oh, yeah. And then I even heard there were five events. So I'm trying to think, how did you guys spell without being regulated. This spell for us the word soldier. S-O-L-D-I-E-R. Correct. I'm looking forward to hearing from some of our contestants who had the opportunity to participate uh, in some of the bees that happened over Zoom and just hear what the experience was and how it differs from the experience today. Yeah, and I think because we still wanted them to have the normal experience of an, uh, a spelling bee, the fact that it's outdoors, yeah, so I like the fact that it's outdoors and there's an opportunity to test and the fact that they get to wear the masks and social distance. I think we're going to have a really good show. Here's a bit of history about the Kenyan National Spelling Bee. So the idea of the spelling bee originated in the United States of America in the mid-1800s. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to 2016, the spelling bee came to Kenya with just a few schools participating in the contest. And imagine this. The top three spellers from the competition traveled to Johannesburg, South Africa to compete in the very first Africa Spelling Bee Championships. Oh, and in 2018, the Kenya National Spelling Bee was televised for the first time. And in that year, the third African Spelling Bee was held in Kenya in the sunny Kuala County. In 2020, though, 
the world was devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. With restrictions around public gatherings, the spelling bee was held virtually for the first time. And now, in 2021, Akili Kids and the Kenya National Spelling Bee partnered to create a special event and a TV program. Akili Kids presents Spelling Bee. I've seen many of the contestants today with just the long list of words going through each word and cramming and mm. testing each other, which is really cool to see. Are you guys nervous? Yeah, a bit. Oh, you know when you're gonna do something big and it's outside school, so you get nervous. It's in front of so many people. Yeah, that makes sense. And you have like such strange judges now, and you don't know anyone. And are you nervous? Yeah, I'm very nervous. Yeah. Before you guys were at the tent, you weren't as nervous, but now I see it. I hope you guys do good in the first round. I'll come back, okay? Yes, this definitely does build up on one of the things that Akili Kids holds very dear, and that is literacy. We have dedicated shows that help kids uh, advance their literacy. That is, they learn new words or vocabulary, if you prefer. Um, hello, what's your name, first of all? My name, first of all, is Darren Collins. <laughs> I'm Satara, and I'm here interviewing many people, kids and adults alike. So, first of all, um, you are here with the Puppet Show. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure, yeah. We are uh, Project Hand Up and Puppets 254 here locally. And we specialize in doing educational programs at schools. And uh, we also do entertainment when, there, when the need arises. And we've recently been asked by Akili Kids to also publish some of our videos. So we handled Dr. Pomoja and Bali the Monkey, who teaches about COVID safety to children of all ages. And so it's our privilege to be here and hang out with a live crew for the first time in a long time. Sounds really good. Thank you so much, Darren. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm expecting the best. And to win. Fearless. I'm here to win this spelling bee competition. Willing to do more in this competition. Let's talk prizes. You would believe this. I would. Let's I would. get some drum rolls. Am I ready? I'm ready. Drum rolls. <laughs> the prizes. The runners up will get school and art supplies from the sponsors, and one winner will get school and art supplies, a voucher from the sponsors, and a tablet. But it is good to know that everyone here goes home with a gift bag full of goodies from sponsors, including a face mask from Achille Kids. I would study with my father and research the words. I would read through the words and tried spelling them. Um, from the help of my parents and looking up into words in the dictionary. I was being helped by a cousin, read through the words, and then I start spelling. My name is Calvin Kimani. Okay, my name is Satara, and I'm going to be interviewing all of these kids over here. So we do have some whatever. returning champions, people who've won previous ones and are back to try and get more titles under their belts. Okay, and how did you study for the spelling bee? I've been just using mental shortcuts to understand the words, mm -hmm. and I've also been checking for the pronunciations and the meanings. Oh, have you been to the spelling bee before? Yeah. Oh, so you've been to the Kenya National Spelling Bee before? Yeah. That's so cool. How is this year different from last time you were here? Uh, the difference is that I've been improving, and I'm willing to do more. Oh, sounds good. Okay, I will see you later. Thank you so much. The list given by the uh, organization, I, I read all of them. The f uh, from the first column, I, I, I wrote all the words in a rough book. All the contestants who have signed up today received a list of 500 words. Can you imagine that? It's hard to imagine trying to study 500 words. And you don't have much time. Yeah. Uh, the contestants had about two or three days to learn all these words. Uh, I perfect it. Get to know Daria. He is 12 years old and is in grade 7. This is his first spelling bee. Daria enjoys building mobile web apps, gaming, and playing cricket. The last book he read was Magnus Chase and the Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan. This year, his teacher selected him to participate in the National Spelling Bee. When he was in grade 5, his parents noticed he was a strong speller and encouraged his interest in English and literacy. Daria is contestant number 101. Uh, uh, Deja Shah. Abilish Kona. Out of Saidi. Okay, and I'm Satara once again. Now, how are you guys feeling right now? Uh, awesome. Awesome. You're feeling even more confident than before? Yeah. Did you study a little bit more? 
Uh, we were doing that right now, but then we decided to play a game on his phone. <laughs> I see that. That sounds really good. So you guys are relaxed. You're having fun. It sounds good. You guys look really happy right now. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. We really want to ensure that everyone who's attending the Kenya National Spelling Bee is kept safe. And the first thing we made sure to do is have the event outdoor. And we insist that each and every one who's attending the event is wearing their mask. And the proper way to wear the mask is to cover your nose and to cover your mouth. And in that same spirit of maintaining COVID protocol, we also encourage everyone to maintain social distance. Just in case anyone wants to feel sure about their status, there is free COVID testing on site. I am very, 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 and just in case you did not get it the first time, very excited to be here. My name is Chris, but you can also call me It's Your Boy K.E., and this is my co-host. All right, my name is Wavaya. So I don't have another cool other name, so just Wavaya. I'm going to keep uh, repeating myself so that you guys hear it because I will ask you at the end of this event whether you can pronounce my name. I know that it is hard, but I know that you guys are awesome because you're here to spell, right? And we would like to welcome you to the Kenya National Spelling Bee. Are we excited? Yes! I didn't hear you that first time. Are we excited? Yes! Just a point to note, my co-host and I both don't have our masks on because we have both been fully vaccinated and we have both tested negative. But for the rest of you, kindly do remember to keep your mask on at all times. Wear it correctly over your what and what? A bit louder for everyone to hear. Good job. Make sure to keep your mask on over your nose and mouth and also remember to social distance. All right, let's get around to meeting the judges. What is your name? I'm Maurice Omondi. And you are a judge here at the Spelling Bee. Yes, I'm going to be the Spelling Bee judge for this championship. Oh, that sounds really cool. So what are you looking for in the kids today? Actually, at the moment now where we have reached, at this time, English has developed to this level. And since the beginning of the Spelling Bee, at the moment, we have fireworks. And then for our chief judge, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Morris Omondi. And the timekeeper, Beryl Anyango. Ooh, and then we have a scorekeeper who goes by the name Masi Odoyo. Let's talk rounds. Round one is a warm-up round where you get one word to spell and no one gets eliminated. In round two, things get a little bit spicy and here's where the elimination begins. You'll get two words which must be spelled correctly in order to advance to round three. In round three, you get to spell three words correctly. In the event of a tie, they'll go into round four. So Chris, what do you do to relax when you're nervous? So I usually like to remind myself to breathe. Otherwise, my knees just wobble till the end of time. Then I also remind myself that it's never that serious. And what about you? I like to do some breathing exercises so I can calm down. Oh, breathing exercises. That mm -hmm. sounds interesting. Why don't you show us one of the breathing exercises that you do? So I usually like to take one deep breath in and one out. And I repeat this a couple of times until I calm down. Would you like to join us? Take a deep breath in and out. In, out. Wow, I feel so calm. Do you feel the same? I feel relaxed. There's more to come. Akili Kids presents Spelling Bee continues after this break. Here's a little word game you can try. Can you unscramble this word? 